Hello, accounting superstars. This is Professor Don Bush. I've been a professor for about 30 years, CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So this lesson is designed for students who are, who are in uh, principles of accounting or maybe even intermediate accounting. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to estimate the ending inventory because sometimes that ending inventory has been stolen or sometimes it's been burned in a fire or maybe we just don't have time to count it this month and we need to quickly estimate it. Also, what you can do is count your ending inventory and then use this gross profit method to estimate the ending inventory just to double check your work. So this uh, gross profit method, it won't tell you exactly what your ending inventory is, but it will probably be pretty close. So here's what's happening with Fred. Fred is busy. It's the month of November and he is getting just hammered with sales and customers, which is a wonderful thing. He sells snowblowers and um, he asks his accountant, uh, and here's a picture of his accountant right down here. And Fred says, hey, accountant, uh, can we just estimate our ending inventory? And the accountant says, sure, here's what I need from you. So the accountant says, I need the value of your beginning inventory. So that's easy. We'll just take the uh, ending inventory from October and make that our beginning inventory for November. You know, what was the ending at the prior month is now the beginning of, of the current month. So that's 27,900. The total amount of inventory purchases for the month of November was 45550 and finally the last thing really that the account needs is the November sales 85000 now the accountant can figure out this gross profit percentage um, it's really easy to do we would just take our sales and uh, or I'm sorry we would take our gross profit and divide it by sales and this would be a, a historical average like for the last year or two and um, so Fred's gross profit rate is about 40% based on past experience. So coming down the page, here's how we do it. We've got sales here. So we're going to figure out the uh, percentages. So here's what you do. And this works all the time. If you're trying to figure out percentages of different things on the income statement, always put sales down as 100%. Just always do it. It, it works. You don't really have to think about it. What I tell my students is, just tell me what you want to get on your test. And and I had one student say, I want to get 120%. Well, I said, you got to stick with 100%. All right. So uh, we know that the gross profit rate, based on historical experience, is 40%. There we go. And so the cost of goods sold percentage must be 60%. You know, 100% minus 60 equals 40. So that's how we figure it out. Now, coming down here, we've got to figure out the cost of goods sold dollar amount. Easy. Uh, what we'll do, we'll take these percentages and we'll drop them right into place here. All right. We're just copying down here. Sales. Well, uh, we've got sales up here of 85,000. That was in the information supplied to the accountant. So sales is 85,000. Cost goods sold is going to be 60% of that amount. So just go 85,000 times 60%. There you go. And gross profit, well, you can subtract. You can go 85,000 times 40%. Either way, it'll all work out. 34,000 is the gross profit. So coming down here, folks, we are almost done. That's how easy this is. So what we need is that beginning inventory at the beginning of November. And we're using the end of October because end of October, beginning of November, same thing. So here we are, uh, end of October, 27,900. So let's drop that into place. Plus purchases, Fred uh, it keeps really good records. He knows what his purchases are. 45,550, drop that into place. Here we go, purchases, there we are. Get a subtotal. And we'll call this goods available, goods available for sale. So we're just going to add the 27.9 and the 45, 550, add them up together, and we get 73,450. Finally, what we'll do is subtract away what was sold. You, you see, if we have a whole bunch of goods available and we sell some of them, whatever's left is our ending inventory. So cost of goods sold, 51,000 comes from right there. $51,000, there we go. And that, uh, if we go 73,450 minus 51, 
we get 22,450. And folks, there's our ending inventory. Told you it was easy. I bet you're wondering, when's this accounting going to get difficult? Well, if you do run into difficulties, um, check out accountingsuperstars.com. I've got all my videos listed by topic, so that way it's easier to search for what you're looking for. Also, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps uh, me and YouTube know that um, you, you guys like these videos. Also, if you want, you can put down in the comments uh, a topic that you're struggling with, and I'll make a video for you. So until next time, over and out.